Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to say something that will definitely be controversial, something that may get me into trouble, let's be honest. But I'm going to say the Emacs is not a terminal editor. And throughout the video, I may accidentally say terminal emulator, but I mean to say terminal editor, because Emacs can be a terminal emulator. It can also be a terminal editor, let me say. You can log into your remote server and install Emacs there and use it as your text editor through your terminal because it has the, the terminal variant. But I'm going to say that when we talk about contemporary Emacs today, usually people like me, we're talking about this. It's a, it's a fully featured GUI window program. Even though we don't call it a window, we call it a frame. That's one of the fun things about Emacs is that it's, it's weird and idiosyncratic. But that's what we're talking about today when we talk about Emacs. And um, I made this video because I had a, a fun interaction with a friend of mine many years ago. He's an excellent developer, a really, truly systematic, system-minded person, uh, highly intelligent. And um, he's a great developer, and he uses a fully functional IDE that is geared up for exactly the, the programming language that he uses and the, the, um, the framework that he, he uses that language inside of. And it's got all these nice features. It's got in, Git, Git integrated, you know, Git version control integrated. It's even got a, a terminal emulator inside of it. And, uh, and I said, you know, I'm, I'm not obviously going to convince him that he should use Emacs uh, because he's, he's quite happy in his IDE. But I said, well, you know, you should uh, take a look at Emacs. It has some pretty cool stuff in there as far as, you know, productivity and a, a great document writer in, in org mode. You've got the org agenda where you could, you know, look at your to-do list. If I just hit a few commands here, I can see, okay, wow, you know, this is my to-do list. Um, install a lamp stack, you know, I, I did that, that's, that's done, you know, and you can have projects, you can do all kinds of things, you can see the many videos on my channel where I talk about those things. It's a, uh, like a fully functional file manager in, in DRED, and you can do all sorts of great operations on files that are incredibly intuitive, and you can build them into functions. You've got uh, a full window manager. You could use Emacs as a fully featured window manager with EXWM. So you just install a, a bare you know, Linux server on a, on a computer, uh, just a, a text terminal. You can install Emacs, and with a, with a few programs, you can just log right into Emacs, and it's your full window manager, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it's all pretty cool. And then he said, uh, well, you know, yeah, that all sounds interesting, but... Uh, I know how to get into and quit VI, so I don't need another terminal editor. And uh, and I thought that was funny because I thought, oh, he, he he thinks that what I'm talking about here, Emacs, is is just a terminal editor, and and obviously it's it's much more than that. So you know, I wanted to make this video to to go through some of those interesting things, and also introduce my channel. I, I've covered a lot of those interesting things that you can do in Emacs here, and I've, I've barely scratched the surface. And one of the funny things um, about Emacs that I think is interesting is that when I see other Emacs users on YouTube, uh, there's a few of us, you'll often notice that we're interested in other weird things outside of software development and software programming. You know, some Emacs users might be lawyers or academics or scientists or historians. Um, you know, uh, or writers, you know, who are who are not, you know, exactly in a technical field. So it's a it's a very interesting program for those reasons. And I just wanted to relate that little story and say, even though it may be controversial, that Emacs is not just a terminal editor. But there you go. What do you think? Am I wrong? Am I an idiot? You know, am I am I completely incorrect in my analysis here, uh, or in what I'm saying about org mode in Emacs. What do you think of the terminal variant? Do you use it? I usually install it on my servers because I'm more familiar with it than VI or Nano or Vim, I guess. You know, don't always call it VI anymore. But anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave it there, and I will talk to you all next time. I hope I didn't get into too much trouble.